Hello, everyone. I'm Sheng Quanchen, a PhD student in Tsinghua University. Nice to meet you at ISMB ECCB 2021. It's an honor to introduce ST Plus, a reference-based method for the accurate enhancement of spatial transcriptomics. I will talk about the following four points, including background, methods, results, and conclusion. About the background, as we know, single-cell sequencing has been successfully applied to various studies. However, the dissociation leads to a loss of spatial context. In the recent years, advanced technologies have been developed to profile spatially reserved transcriptomics and can be grouped into two major categories, including sequencing-based and imaging-based technologies. These approaches are often complementary and differ in their target throughput, coverage, and resolution. In this study, we focus on the data generated by imaging-based methods, which has higher spatial resolutions. This kind of data is limited by either the small number of major genes or the low gene detection sensitivity. So we aimed at enhancing spatial data based on reference single-cell RNA sequencing data. Existing methods can be divided into two major categories, including probabilistic methods and joint embedding based methods. However, there are limitations such as the use of only shared genes, the ineffective characterization of cell heterogeneity, and the lack of robustness and scalability. To fill this gap, we proposed ST Plus for the enhancement of spatial transcriptomics. The enhancement process of ST Plus can be divided into three main steps. First, data processing to prepare for joint embedding. Second, joint embedding of the single cells in spatial transcriptomic data and reference single cell data. And third, predicting the expression of spatially unmeasured genes based on the cell embedding and reference data. The input includes the target spatial data and the reference single-cell RNA-seq data profiled from similar tissues as the spatial data. The set of genes shared between spatial data and reference data is denoted as genes S while the set of genes unique to the reference data is denoted as U. Users can specify any genes in the reference data to be predicted. For the spatial data, ST plus augments the expression of genes U with zeros and unifies the gene order with that of reference data. Then, the two datasets are merged together and shuffled across cells to form trending batches. Joint embedding is based on an autoencoder with a carefully tolerated loss function, which includes two parts. The first one is loss of the the construction for shared genes in the spatial data, while the second one is data sparsity parallelized loss of the prediction for genes U in the reference data. ST plus feed forwards each training batch two times to access these two paths of loss respectively. 
First, ST Plus feeds the batch into the autoencoder, extracts the decoded results of genes S for spatial cells, and calculates the square error compared to the measured expression of genes S. Second, to mimic the augmented spatial data, ST Plus extracts reference cells in the training batch, masks the entries of genes U, and fits into the autoencoder. The decoded result of genes U are then compared with the measured expression of genes U in reference cells. Based on the idea that the sparser the reference is, the more likely the zeros are false negatives. So ST plus penalizes the prediction error with lower weights. The two parts of loss are then scaled by the number of genes and cells respectively. After model training, we can obtain the joint embedding of cells in the spatial data and the reference data. For each spatial cell, ST plus calculates its cosine distance with each reference cell based on the learned cell embeddings. The neighboring 50 reference cells are then used to predict gene expression in the spatial cell via a weighted KNN approach. We collected five dataset pairs. The dataset pairs are made up of three spatial transcriptomic datasets from different mouse from different mouse brain regions. N is N are made of made up of four reference single cell RNA sequencing datasets from similar tissues. As shown in the table, the dataset pairs have diverse gene detection sensitivity levels, sample sizes, and number of spatially measured genes. Note that cell populations in the datasets are unbalanced. We evaluated the prediction performance of gene expression by gene-wise and cell-wise Spearman correlation coefficients between measured and predicted data. Also, we evaluated performance for the identification of cell populations by four clustering metrics. We compare the performance of ST plus with four baseline methods. As a result, ST plus outperforms baseline methods with significantly higher gene wise and cell wise Spearman coefficients. For cell clustering, a higher score indicates better performance for the identification of cell populations, and thus a better enhancement. Using the data enhanced by ST plus, cell populations can be better identified than using the measured data. We also left our uh, two paths of loss function respectively to study the contribution of these two paths. Results shows that results showed that the effective characterization of cell heterogeneity mainly benefits from the first part of loss function. While the accurate prediction of gene expression mainly benefits from the second part of loss function. Using the largest dataset pair, we also showed the computational efficiency and scalability of ST+. Data visualization results further confirmed the better performance of ST+. 
For example, using a data enhanced by ST plus, the pink and brown cells can be more separated. The major hyperparameters of ST plus are the number of neighboring cells used to predict and the number of apples adopted to perform ensemble learning. We further use the largest dataset pair to show the robustness of ST+. Note that compared with ARI, AMI is preferred when the size of clusters are unbalanced. As shown in the figure, the performance assessed by gene-wise and cell-wise Spearman coefficients is stable, and the clustering matrix show, show no significant fluctuations expect ARI. The results indica indicate that ST plus is robust to the choice of hyperparameters. Interestingly, we found that the predicted expression of genes unique to reference data can also well characterize cell heterogeneity. Usually, the major genes in spatial data are known marker genes. So we can use the predicted expression of unmeasured genes to identify new marker genes. We performed gene ontology enrichment using the differentially expressed genes in the data predicted by each maser. The enriched results of ST plus are related to biological process of neurons, which is consistent with the original spatial data. However, none of the results of other cell of other methods is directly related to the original data. So ST plus can provide biological insight into the into the identified cell population. In conclusion, ST plus can accurately predict gene expression, effectively characterize cell heterogeneity, and provide biological insight into spatial transcriptomics analysis. The code of ST plus is freely accessible. Certainly, ST plus is flexible and can be extended easily. First, gene expression data used in this study can be further combined with spatial coordinates. Second, we can incorporate other types of profiles, such as epigenetic profiles, as the additional reference data. Third, we can also extend ST+ by incorporating advanced deep neural networks to capture higher level features. This is the reference list. Thank you.